Hi plant friends, today we're plant shopping at the Royal Botanical Orchid Show and Sale. This was a nice relaxing event. There wasn't a lot of crowds so I was able to take my time and relax while plant shopping. First vendor is Orchids in our tropics and they had a fantastic selection. Look at these Oncidiums and some of them were very fragrant. The price started off from $30 and up. They also had Cattleyas and they also had the Sherry Baby, which is very fragrant, smells like chocolate. Those started at $35. They also had Fragmapediums. And look at this orchid in bloom. The pot was just jam packed with pseudobulbs. The blooms are so delicate, but as I got closer, it smelled a little bit stinky. and she was only $35. They had more cat layers and they also had the Phalaenopsis, like the Shellariana. The Shellariana was $50. They also had the Tetraspis and that beauty was priced at $75. They also had the Violesa Indigo and a Bellina in the back for $55. This orchid is so tiny. What a little gem. Only $30. They had a few dendrobiums in bloom for $35. Also saw this Maxillaria tenifolia, which is also the coconut orchid for $35. Plant friends, they also had the vanilla orchid for only $40. Then I popped over to Crystal Star Nurseries. Their booth is quite popular. So there was a lot of people there, but they did have some Hoyas like this Maniloa. I didn't see a price for it, but isn't it cute? This Hoya Carmeli was $26. This one's the Hoya Australis Alexandra for $36. They also had Hoya Rebecca for $24. Then my planty friend pointed out the Hoya Ginningatum. This one is still pricey. The price hasn't fallen on this one, plant friends. Still $85. Now these are really pretty. What beautiful foliage. It's the Philodendron Cream Splash for $25. Plant friends, they also had more of the variegated vanilla plant for $34. They had a good amount too. The line on this is so nice and thick.
They also had Masdevalia orchids starting from 30. Look at this orchid, so tiny and just jam-packed with blooms. What a cutie. It was priced at $48. They had so much orchids, but I couldn't get to the rest of the table. It was just jam-packed with people. Next vendor is Flora Peculia. They had some Hoyas. Look at this Hoya elliptica. Priced at $30, and there's a few cuttings in that. They only had one of these Hoyas. The unusual, I've not seen this one before, Hoya Gola Coriana. Nice new growth on this plant, and it was $30. They also had a Hoya Pachaclada. This one I haven't heard of either, Hoya Sayamica for 35. And the Hoya Macrophylla Alba Marginata was 35. This maxillary was looking nice and healthy for $35. Look at those pseudobulbs. A few of the plants were priced at $30. I also saw at $30, and it looked like it went up from there. Even a few air plants tucked in the mix. This table had so many little goodies. You could find Brassavolia, they had Pinguiculas, even a little succulent. This Bulbophyllum was only 30. They even had an orchids in flask. The flasks range in price, somewhere $100, but they went up from there. Look at the potential flowers for this one, Phalaenopsis ludimaniana. This flask was $140. Plant friends, I really like their setup. They had tons of pictures of what the plants could potentially bloom and look like, and the prices labeled out. Look at this bobo fillin. For some reason, I'm just drawn to them. That beauty was $30. I'm really liking these miniature plants. Look at this dendrobium, dendrobium senili for $35. Those blooms, wow, so interesting. I'm just fascinated by the amount of variety that this vendor had. Next stop was Roehampton Orchids. Now the vendor mentioned they've got a store in Toronto at Young and Eglinton, so I'll need to visit sometime soon. But their orchid selection was fantastic. Take a look at these gems. All the plants were nicely labeled. They even had the mini mark for $55. They also had a lot of fragrant orchids. This area smelled wonderful. And look at this little beauty with the triple lip. Wow. I think these were priced at $45.
They've got so many Peloric Orchids. This one's $55. The color is just gorgeous. The fragrance on this one it was so yummy. $35 for this orchid. But wow, the fragrance is just amazing. Look at the lip on this orchid, what a beauty, and it was $35. Look at their Tetrespa Sample Orchid, what a beauty, they're priced at $40. I can't get enough of their Peloric Orchids. The selection of plants was just amazing. They've got some orange Cattleyas and look at this beauty. What a gorgeous sample. Just amazing selections of plants. I couldn't believe it. They also had loads of interesting Jewel Orchids. Look at this Shalariana in bloom. Next vendor is Decomo and they had the Sidera Japonica Orchid for only $30. Oh, my plant friend and I took a look at all of their beauties to select the best ones to take home. Plant friends, don't forget to look under the tables at plant shows. Sometimes they just don't have enough room on the table for all their beauties. They also had dendrobium orchids in full bloom for $50. They had Phalaenopsis orchids priced at $25, even the variegated Phalaenopsis was $25. Oncidium Heaven Scent was also $30. Plant friends, this vendor's table is so fragrant. Apparently that's what their specialty is, selling fragrant orchids. Look at this gem, $22 and the smell is just wonderful. Then I came back to Roehampton Orchids to check out their Tulumnias. They were only $15. Then I had to admire all their hanging plants. So they have quite a bit of gems right here. Look at this little dendrobium as well in bloom. And look at this sample, the flowers are gorgeous. had about six different types of tulumnias to select from. Plant friends, then I stopped at the members table which had mature divisions at great prices. This phalaenopsis was only $15. Look at the flower on this one. It also has the muddled leaf crossed with Storitiana. Look 
look at those gorgeous roots and it was $30. The lip on this orchid is just gorgeous. And check out this unusual orchid. Wow. And it was only $20. The blooms are so unusual. What a cutie. This dendrobium division was only $20. Wow, this bobophyllum is in spike and they also have a maxillaria tenifolia right beside for only $10. Plafres, this is one of the best members table I've seen in all the shows that I've been to. Their catacetums are just wonderful. Already nicely potted up for $40. Look at this beauty for $30. What a nice big pot. You could get your hands on a Mastavalia for only $15. This one with the spent bloom is $30. They also have this Cattleya below with a white margin on the leaves for only $25. Now one of the things that I learned from the members table is to put a popsicle stick in the pot. When a popsicle stick is wet, you don't need to water. If it's dry, it's safe to go ahead and water. What a nice tip. Plant friends, I regretted not coming to this table first. I would have spent all my money here. By the time I got to this table, I was only down to 30 bucks. They had so many goodies, their Catlia and Divisions were just wonderful. Friends, look at this Catlia, well established and nice new growth. Next we've got this side of Paradise, which always has a wonderful selection. They've got a website as well in the spring it opens and I like to put in an order for something special from this vendor. Their plants are reasonable too, they start from $25 and up. I love that everything's nicely labeled and they've got pictures of the potential blooms. If it's a cross, they've got pictures of the parents so you can imagine what the potential flowers will look like. Plant friends, if you're in Canada, bookmark their website because they also ship across Canada. Friends, let's get into the haul. First plant is Foul Dutch Lady. This one is such a beauty and it's also fragrant. Look at the potting history for this plant. I wish I was that organized. It's also crossed with Stuartiana, so this plant has that beautiful muddled leaves. Mm -hmm. 
look at those beautiful leaves and the roots, lots of healthy roots on this plant. They're gray, so it's time for a water. To water this plant, I'm gonna soak it in a bowl for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna wait until it's completely dried out before watering. That might be up to a week. What a beauty, and this plant was only $30. I've got the Elizabeth Ann Buckleberry, which I picked up for $30. This one will require a lot of humidity, and I'm really excited that there's some new growth on this. This plant normally blooms in the spring, so I'm hoping the bulbs mature enough to give me a little something. Next is Falsadera japonica. This one was $30. Look at this plant, what a beauty, and the roots are looking so healthy. I'm not sure what to do about this potting mounting situation. Once the plant is acclimated to my home, I'll decide what I'll need to do with this one. These Sidera japonicas like it cool, so I need to find a bright, cool area in my home to home this plant. I also picked up a pinguicula. This one was nicely priced at $8. Pinguicolas like it moist, so I'll keep it moist, but it's going to also help me with the fungus gnats. Next, we've got Perothalus bivalvus. This is out of my comfort zone. After collecting orchids for many years, it's time to try something new. Now this plant likes it cool and humid, so I'm going to need to make special arrangements for this beauty. I picked up this plant for $20 from the members table. By the time I got to this plant, I was out of cash, so I had to borrow $20 from my planty friend. Thanks for the loan. Look at that bloom. What an interesting plant. I'm going to have fun growing this. My friends, now that I've adventured out of my comfort zone, I had to stop into Ikea and pick up one of those Millsbow cabinets. I have some plants that I need to keep at high humidity. My orchids are going to love this cabinet. Wish me luck setting it up. Thanks for watching, plant friends. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on Instagram at Life of Belina.